What's going on guys? It's your boy John in this thing. Today I bring you a new video. A lot of people have been asking me for this deck profile, which is my Lair of Darkness slash Darkest Diablos deck. So I uh, here I bring you out my deck for the monsters. We run three of the best boss monster, three darkest diablos. This card is just broken. Too damn broken. Then we run three of the Lilith. This card is great going first, going second. If you go first, uh, if you don't have anything, you could just summon her, trivia herself, and bring back and bring a trap. It's too broken. If you go in second, you could uh, you could tribute one of your opponents if you have Lair of Darkness. We run uh, the Searcher three of the Searcher. It could search us the Darkest Diablos, and it could draw one card, or it could search us the, the field spell. This card is really good. On to we run the Supreme King Dark Worm because we run Foolish Burial, and we want uh, we run Dragon's Ravine and Dragon Shrine, so. A free special summon is good, especially if you if you get to special summon him. And then if you normal summon this or you normal summon Lilith, you could tribute him and activate effect. So if you have this and Lilith, you could uh, tribute this, and then in the next turn you could have another one. So a dark worm is good. Duke Shade, uh, pretty much a kaiju. If you have a layer of darkness, you could kaiju your opponent monster. It's really good, and then you could get tokens. I run uh, Eater of Millions because it's dark and um, we really don't need our extra deck. So I mean Eater of Millions is just a card that most people cannot get over it and you're just banishing your opponent's stuff, boss monsters or any problems. We got Eater of Millions for it. Uh, uh, we got our Margetti Knight. Margetti Knight you can send us our Desudo to go into, into Ancient Fairy Dragon or Black Rose Dragon if any problems. You know if we're playing a uh, heavy back row deck go into Armageddon Knight and send full uh, send the Strudo and then we could go black row and clear the whole board because this deck loses to back row talking about the Strudo we have that one the Strudo so we have a lot of Dragon Shrine um, we have a lot of Dragon Shrine Dragon's Ravine Foolish Burial targets which is a, a Supreme King the Strudo and Darkest Diablos itself because it's a dragon really really good we want to send darkest diablos to the grave so what because as soon as we tribute we could bring that ass to the field three ash blossoms because two draco trick stars 60 card man just ashing the grass and that's pretty much game ash blossom is a must best hand trap it sucks against pendulums but oh well we need it so that's just all the hand traps two terraformings and three layer of darkness we want to see this card as soon as possible so we run eight eight ways to get this card three of the monster two terraforming and layer of darkness itself it's way better if you have two because your opponent always wants to pop now that they're understanding the deck they want to pop layer of darkness you, and but if you have another one then too bad for them the one dragon's ravine this card is good you can just discard the strudo you can discard dark worm and send um or you could even discard Darker Zalus itself and send another dragon. Pretty good. Dragon Shrines, because we like I said, we want to see our darkest Diablos in the grave as soon as possible. And another dragon shrine. So three dragon shrines. It's alright, well onto the draw power. This deck is a little bit inconsistent and it's slow. So I found a way to make it a little bit faster. It's by adding the three allures. Because we want to dig into, into our deck and get them traps. Two Pot of Desires. We run three of almost everything. So, I mean, Pot of Desires is really good. It says draw two. And, and that's it. Just five. Pot of Desires has been really good. Drawing on to the important pieces that I needed. Monster Reborn. Because this has won me games. Uh, top deck Monster Reborn. Bring Darkest Diablos. And they... Uh, they cannot get over it. They cannot target. They cannot tribute it. It's just too good. Onto the traps. I run two torrential tributes. Board wipes is good. Uh, well, over the small, I don't want to open a lot of viruses. I want to search them off. So I already run three. Grand and Grave virus is really good against two Dracos. 
because you could tribute uh, one of their monsters, let's say Maiden, so you trade it for cost and they won't activate their effect. Since it's 2000 or more attack, uh, you could destroy all their monsters in your hand. So usually they have a mono, waddle, and masterpiece. And everything they draw, any monster they draw, they, it gets destroyed. This card is just broken. Like I said, this deck loses to back row. So we run two heavy storm dusters. It's searchable. So if you're going first, you can search this and um, you pop, pop back row. And two mind curses. We already know what our opponent's playing. And usually they always search. So I mean, two Draco. Trick stars, man, that reincarnation, you just call it. Sometimes they have two, so you destroy two other incarnations. My Crush is a really good card overall, so yeah. On to the extra deck. We run three tokens. All right, Thousand Ice is just food for Eater or Millions, so you banish that. Abyss Dweller because two Draco and 60 card. Uh, two Tornado Dragons, like I said, you could even banish one with, um, uh, with Eater of Millions. Black Rose Dragon, because we can make it. Ancient Fairy Dragon. On to the Lynx. Lynx Spiders, because we have a lot of tokens. We get a lot of tokens, so we want to link them up. On the Clock Taker, Proxy Dragon. Because we could use all our tokens to make one of these. So Ruja is pretty much the best, best one. We always go into this, drop draw four it's two broken well this is our extra deck and I mean all these some of these you don't use them so you just banish them for euro million on to the side we want one Yeki. I didn't really use much on my side but I have some of it three anti spells going first this 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 card brings you games 3d barriers Against the rogue and pendulum, stops their whole turn. And I cited one enemy controller. If I had more, I would have used more because this with Lair of Darkness going first, going second is good. If you go second, you tribute one of their monsters, and you can take control of one of their other monsters, and you just link it away or X Y Z or anything with it. So this card is just too good because you tribute one of their monsters, and you target one other face up monster they control, and you and you take control of that target. So. This card is good. If you have more, run more of these. Like I said, this deck run, uh, loses against back row. So, Twin Twisters will solve the little problem. Especially going to Draco. Standby. Pop two of their cards. It's good. They always do standby anti spells. So, I might as well Twin Twister them. And I side uh, two more Duke Shades. Because if you're going second, this is Kaijus. So, if you have a layer of darkness, you could Kaiju them. And at the end phase, you get tokens. And it I mean in Duke Shade and then you can special special summon Duke Shade for a free body so if you have another like a Lilith or the Searcher you can tribute this and gain their effects and if of course if you manage to search Diablos then you can special summon Diablos so Duke Shade is pretty good you like Kaiju's going second so Duke Shade will do the problem Duke Shade will solve, solve the problem all right, guys. Well, that was my Lair of Darkness slash Darkest Diablos deck profile. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.